Thank you for joining us. I pray God will bless you from his word. Of course, we're in the book of Acts, and uh, we're getting to chapter 6 now. And the church has really grown, and it's about to grow some more, but a problem has come up. And this passage tells us two things. The first thing it tells us is how to handle an issue when it comes up in the church. And the second thing, what's really the responsibility of the pastor of a church? And so here in Acts chapter 6, the first four verses, it says, At the time the disciples were increasing in number, a complaint arose on the part of the Hellenistic Jews against the native Hebrews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily service of food. So the twelve summoned the congregation of the disciples and said, It's not desirable for us to neglect the word of God in order to serve tables. Therefore, brethren, select from among you seven men of good reputation, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we may put in charge of this task. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And so that's what they did. Now, what was a Hellenistic Jew? Well, you might remember that 722 BC, the Northern 10 tribes fell captive to the Assyrians and 586 BC, the Southern two tribes did. And they were spread all over the world because of being taken captive, captive because they didn't obey God. So they were taken to foreign lands. Well, they were still Jewish. And in those foreign lands, they would set up synagogues. They didn't have access to the temple. It had been destroyed. They would come together and study the word and worship and pray. Well, they spoke Greek because in the days of Alexander the Great, most of the known world was captured or overrun and spoke Greek. Well, in Jerusalem, the Jews still spoke Hebrew or Aramaic, one of the two, they didn't speak Greek, and also they had kept a whole lot more of the Jewish customs than the Jews from all over who spoke Greek. Well, when Pentecost came, a lot of Jews from all over the world were gathered together in Jerusalem, and after that great sermon on Pentecost and that tremendous thing that happened, some of them stayed. Well, they spoke Greek, I mean, they had some Greek customs. They weren't necessarily sinful, but the Hellenistic Jews were looked down upon by the local Jews that spoke Hebrew and Aramaic. And so you have the potential for a church split here <laughs> in the first century, in the first few months. Well, how was it handled? Instead of somebody arguing with somebody and somebody criticizing somebody, the apostles said, well, let's fix it. Apparently what happened, the Hellenistic Jews, which were in the minority, were being neglected by the Hebrew-speaking people that were serving tables for widows. They didn't speak the same language, and consequently, they got criticized. Notice it says Hellenistic Jews against the native Hebrews, and so potential for a church split. Well, instead of dealing with personalities and doing accusations and taking sides and being critical, they looked at the matter itself. You know, in any kind of a conflict, if the people involved will act like they're the doctors and the conflict is the patient, then what they're trying to do is fix the conflict instead of win some kind of an argument or some kind of a contest with anybody. That's the way any kind of church issue ought to be handled. The Bible says we're all one body and we're members of one another, so an issue comes up. Stick with the issue. Don't bring personalities and division into it and do what's necessary after you've prayed to fix the issue. Then the second thing, responsibility of a pastor. Ephesians chapter four says the same thing about pastors that the apostles said about themselves. They said, we need to give ourselves to prayer and the word, not to serving at tables. And in the same way, the Bible says in Ephesians four that pastors and teachers are responsible for equipping the people of God with the Word of God. And so consequently, there are other people that have the responsibility to see to a lot of the physical needs that need to be taken care of so that pastors can give themselves to what pastors are really called to do. Well, it was kind of lengthy, but I think it was important. And I pray that you've been blessed by it.